Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Code 43 and I'm here to give you the month of December, your 2022 reading for the Zodiac sign of Libra. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, so you guys so much love and light and care, prosperity, success, and happiness, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back. If you are a cross watcher, I am sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us. Please remember that when it comes to tarot card readings, oracle card readings, any type of readings, that is always important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages and how you relate to them. Take what resonates. Leave anything that does not. Never, ever force a reading. What's for you will be for you, Libra. What is not, leave it behind for somebody else. And always, first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, your incredible, awesome, amazing angels, ancestors, loved ones in heaven, spiritual team and families. For your most significant guidance at all times they will guide you they will lead you down the right path and in the right direction trust in them trust in him trust in the lord and trust your intuition at all times and do what you guys feel is best please continue to like share subscribe and comment libra you guys are so awesome about keeping my channel going and growing i appreciate you guys very much thank you for the cool and loving compliments and comments and Sharing your wonderful energy, it means the world to me. So thank you guys for that. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have PayPal information, PO Box information listed in the description box below. And also the Heart Shape Super Thanks is there. If you guys want to um, donate, it's, um, I think it's right below the video. So thank you very much in advance. What you guys put into me, you guys already know I'm going to put back into you in this channel. So thank you so much for that. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. I don't plan to read any card in reverse. I'll be using cards from three decks. And, oh, for anybody who's interested, my life coaching advice line is open. If you guys have questions about, like, love and relationships and spirituality and stress management or anything like that, there's some topics below. But, of course, um, I'm open to various payment options are available below. Or rather, you know, how to pay. Okay, everything is there. If you guys have any other inquiries and questions, please feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay. All right, let's jump into your reading. Libra, I want to start by saying Merry Christmas to all of you out there. I hope that you guys have a fun and happy and jolly Christmas and season. I hope you guys get wonderful gifts and give some presents and just receive lots of love and care and time with your family members and friends. And just enjoy the festivities and eating a lot of good treats and desserts and wonderful foods, cooking together, playing games, and just making some wonderful lasting memories, okay, for those of you who celebrate. All right, Libra, let's begin with your first message. This is from the Love and Light deck by Doreen Virtue. Love her work. I have not used her in a long time, so it's good to be doing that. Your message reads as follows. It says, face your future with boldness and strength, and from the Bible, you guys have, from Palm, chapter 138, verse 3, it says, As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. God has given you guys a lot of strength, a lot of courage at this time. A lot of you know that you guys have a higher calling, Libra. You feel this on you. Spirit is divinely guiding you down a very spiritual path. And you know this, you guys have a very special calling. Follow God's guidance. It's going to lead you down your true path. And ask God what action he will guide you to take today. So he will give you some things to do. Okay, stay in constant prayer with the divine and most high. Talk to your angels as well. You guys have a very special and rare mission and role to play on this earth. So follow it. God will give you the, the strength to do it. Okay. Be bold, be strong, keep your head held high, keep your eyes on the prize, stay focused. You got this and you can do it. And you have divine help from God and Jesus, your angels, your ancestors, your spiritual teams and families are surrounding you and helping you walk this beautiful yellow brick road. You know what I mean? This golden path, this golden road where you guys are going to help people on a higher level. And you, you should feel this. You should feel very driven to do this and very called. So you guys have a very high calling. So answer the call, okay? From also Doreen Virtue, this is the Romance Angels deck. Very popular deck in tarot. 
you guys have let go of control issues. It says allow the situation to unfold naturally. So I feel like you guys are dealing with something right now and it could be, you know, this divine path, this walk with God. It's important that you guys let go of control. So have faith, trust in the Lord at all times, distance yourself from certain people who are in the way or blocking blessings or blocking your path or holding you back. So you may need like a time out in solitude, some time to yourself to just focus and, um, you know, stay consistent. Some of you guys need to exercise, stay very balanced. Others of you guys need to come up with a plan, a plan B. This will help you guys to not, um, hold on so tightly to control, you know, having plan B or plan C as well. Also just release feelings and any negative thoughts or whatever you're feeling, just release it. Like picture like um, a hot air balloon or a water or um, I almost said water balloon for some of you guys, water balloon too, or a balloon, something that floats. So, cause I know, uh, you know, it's a little bit different with water balloons. Th those are fun though. Some of you guys need to go have like a water balloon fight at the park and just enjoy it. Don't forget to pick up the balloon pieces. But anyways, um, imagine like a hot air balloon or a balloon just floating away filled with helium. And that's the thoughts and feelings and stuff to kind of help you like release so much control. Let God you know, let Jesus take the will, let them take the will. Okay. So kind of dump your feelings. Okay. So yeah. Enjoy nature as well as what I'm hearing. All right, let's get to your formation. I'm going to do the star of the sea and everything's already been prayed and meditated on. Please pray come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Libra for the month of December year, 2022. The name of this deck is Ascending Life Oracle Deck by Maruka X. Just letting you guys know. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you guys will see happening next. The third card represents what's going to trigger this change to happen next. The fourth card represents the action or guidance that you guys can take from spirit, of course, as you choose. This is also the advice. Please exercise your free will. The fifth card represents what's happening with family members, co-workers, neighbors, friends, people that you know could also be you or a romantic love interest, your children. The sixth card represents the outcome of the spread. And I always start with the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy. Libra, you guys have purpose. You see, there it is. I can't make this stuff up. Spirit is helping you along your path and purpose. Okay. So you guys are doing a lot of spiritual and soul work. So doing some soul searching, you guys are going to help people based off the lessons that you guys have learned. I'm hearing deep rooted lessons. So you guys are breaking generational curses and toxic cycles. Congratulations and kudos. You guys are the chosen ones in your families and you feel it and you know this. And if not, you will. You will see more dreams. Things will become more vivid. People around you, um, those who are not serving their highest purpose and not walking in their higher self are going to fall away. Okay. You guys will be more, um, I'm hearing captivated or uh, more drawn to people who are highly spiritual people who pray a lot, people who are very spiritual and religious and they have spiritual practices. They may have an altar. They go to church a lot. They pray a lot. They have the candle work. They use crystals. You know, people who are spiritual healers and teachers, you guys are a part of this community. So welcome. And a lot of you guys are looking for the meaning of life at this time and you will find it. So you will know what your purpose is. Ask God about your purpose Ask spirit and keep asking until they tell you. And God tells you and shows you in various ways. It's sometimes it's verbal and sometimes it's, you know, based on numbers, synchronicities, other people, you know, God can send messengers your way. So you guys are discovering your life purpose. So show gratitude and um, stay positive. And it's something that I feel like you guys are going to love doing and it's going to fulfill your soul. It's what it's going to do. And it's going to make God proud. So walk your path, go with the flow and um, trust in him, trust in him, listen to your intuition, listen to your heart, listen to your soul. Everything should align. Okay. So you guys are going on a beautiful spiritual journey and you're ready for this. So go forward. But, um, only thing about this journey is, uh, there will be people left behind because they're, they're not vibrating on the highest level that you guys are. You guys are vibrating higher than the mountains. Okay. So imagine that. And somebody may be down here with the rocks and the pebbles. You guys are meant to, to climb higher and go farther because, your divine purpose is, it's great. It's significant. It's, is of, um, essential importance. Okay. And you're going to be very passionate about it. So that's beautiful. Walk your path for real. Okay. 
look here. This is representing you guys. You guys have the unseen. Okay, so it says working behind the scenes, not seeing the full picture, the blessings you don't see, magic happening behind the scenes. I love it. So Libra Spirit is letting you know that they are working their magic. God is uh, communicating with others. He is switching some things, moving some things around. So divine blessings and gifts will come your way as you walk this path. So you might not understand all that's going on, but you will. It will start to make sense. Some of you guys are going through what we call awakening. So this is what spirit calls the awakening. So welcome to it. Get ready to see all kinds of things and all kinds of experiences. A lot of you guys were drawn to tarot because of the spiritual awakening uh, or finding out about a twin flame, a soulmate or spiritual purpose and all this. So you you guys are ready for this. Okay. So wonderful things are coming to you gifts, blessings, presents, and some of them are spiritual. It's like, I feel like you guys are getting your um, spiritual inheritance. God is opening the door so that you guys can make more money and live the life that you guys were designed and brought here to live. Like finally stepping in your shoes, in your real skin, being your true self wholeheartedly. So you guys have a specific goal or goals, but there's one main one that stands out. That's your purpose. And that's beautiful. What's coming in next for you, Libra, is serendipity. I love it. So you see, I see the rainbow. That's very spiritual and celestial. That's beautiful. That means a lot of you guys are coming into true love because you have truly learned to love yourself wholeheartedly. I love this. You guys are graceful. You're insightful now. You guys have way more insights than you've ever had. You're going to get this clarity. This is the perfect time to go after your manifestations and dreams and goals. Divine intervention is here. Yes. So this is spiritual awakening and the divine giving you your spiritual inheritance. This is amazing. It's going to make you very happy and elated as you should be. You're going to feel fortunate and major luck is coming your way. Fortune and luck. Good things are coming to you. Many blessings. So true love, more money, the new home, the blessed life, being worry-free and carefree and just... um, admiration, being recognized for your hard work and effort. And you're going to feel extremely powerful and ambitious at this time. So go after any goal, any dream, stay the path, stay the path and walk that purpose. Okay. What's going to trigger this change is the hidden. Yeah. Enemies, the people that wronged you, it's like everybody is learning, you know, that there, there's snakes, there's people who are dirty out here, there's narcissists, there's evil people. You're learning who that is in your family, in your friendship circle, these so-called friends, these backstabbers, you're learning who everybody is. The mask is off. I keep hearing the veil is thin. So meaning a lot of you divine beings were like a cloak or like a a blanket or something like that for these negative people, not because you want it to be, but because they manipulated you and lied to you. So now that you guys know who these enemies are, or some of you guys are still finding this out as this is revealed, it's like, you're going to turn all that pain into power. So God is teaching us like whatever you went through, your story is somebody else's story. Your story is going to help the next generation not go through that. You're going to help people. You're going to prevent, you know, the tragedy. You're going to prevent that toxic cycle to continue with addiction, with lying and porn and um, cheating and scandals, you know, whatever that is, whatever happened, heartbreak and nonsense and negativity. Like you're going to teach people about the signs, the clues, the red flags and spirituality. Okay. So you're not going to tell everybody what you're doing. You're working in silence, but you're making some powerful moves. Okay. And I love this. So stay very positive. You guys are very strong and clever. Use your skills. You're putting them to use. And it's because of the people that wronged you. So you're turning your pain, like I said, into power and that power into money and money into investments, investments into like, you know, building a beautiful legacy and leaving that behind. So you're passing it down, your lessons, you're passing down your experiences, your skills. This is beautiful. You're going to create more support and stability into the family. So be encouraged. Okay. There are many possibilities coming your way. Stay positive. They didn't break you. They hate, I'm hearing they hate you because they couldn't break you. They didn't break you because you're divinely protected. So when they see a divinely protected person, people can lie and, you know, try to say that, you know, 
God isn't real, but when they see these divine beings like yourself being so highly protected, where nothing breaks you, nothing stops you, they see God in you. They're forced to see it. You divine beings are acting as mirrors for the world. You're making people see you and themselves at the same time. And evil people who don't like what they're seeing, they're trying to run to alcohol and drugs. And guess what? They've been numbing so long that stuff don't work. They've gained a tolerance. Their body is like rejecting it. It's causing them to get sick. It's like they have, it, the choice is change or face the worst consequences and repercussions. So, you know, you are the mirror. You are the mirror. You guys are the mirror for the world to see. For some of you guys, you're, you're definitely representing this in Twin Flame as well. Wow. You guys could start seeing 11-11 um, or just repeating recurring numbers. Please look them up. You guys will get more uh, messages and clarity from your angels. The advice from spirit is the bridge. So, yeah, you guys are in transition for a major transformation. So you're going forward. Um, you're going to find common ground with people that you're willing to work with and ones that you won't. You will compromise um, only as necessary just to keep things peaceful and tranquil. But um, you're in a whole new phase of life. People see it. They feel it. And those who love you and support you and want to see you do well and win will respect that. They will respect your time and they'll respect what you're doing because you may be taking a time out or spending more time alone or just real focused, like closing the door and just grind. It's like grind time. So you're getting things done and accomplished. Um, this is important. You feel like it, this is the time. This is the time. So you're, you're doing you, you're getting things done. You're crossing bridges. You could be traveling, um, just making moves, making some major moves. You know, I feel like your, your shine is scaring some people. It's bringing out the hate and the jealousy of some people. But like I said, the people that truly love you, they're just praying for you. They're wishing the best for you. They want to see you win. And you have a lot of people who love you as well. And they want to see you successful. So continue to walk your path. And, you know, some people will be left behind that bridge as you, as you go forward and cross over to what's next for you. I, I feel I'm hearing you will get there. That's what I feel. That's what I'm hearing. What's happening with family members and friends and people around you. Dice is here. So yeah, I feel like you guys are inspiring other people to take a risk. Um, you're inspiring other people to get out of their comfort zone. You may be, you know, pushed to get out of this comfort zone as well. Okay. And leap into the unknown. So this is about truly having faith and you could be doing something different or unexpected, changing careers and doing something you never thought you'd do in like a billion trillion years, but you're doing it and you see the adventure in it. It's exciting a little bit, you know, nerve wracking a little bit. You're a little bit nervous about it, but adventure awaits. Good things await. I feel like it's going to turn out well. So you're going to roll that dice. And I feel like people around you will be motivated to do something different and unique and follow their calling or search for their purpose. And this is good. This is where we're going. Spiritual people are on the rise. Okay. So this is good. I love it. Your outcome Libra, you guys have poor health. So I know you guys are grinding and working hard as you should, but do not neglect your health. Do not stop going to the doctors and getting your checkups and, you know, listening to your bodies, listening to God. First and foremost, I'm not a doctor. So listen to your healthcare specialists, doctors, and professionals, and um, do what you guys feel is best, but do not neglect your mental health either. Either, So I'm hearing, um, make sure you guys are feeding yourself positive words of encouragement and affirmations. Make sure that you guys are taking spiritual baths and releasing toxins and toxic, you know, people and toxic energy, going outside, breathing fresh air, drinking plenty of water, getting good exercise, making the moves that you guys need to make. Okay. So make sure you guys check in with yourselves about your health, check in about your weight. Just make sure that you are healthy because you're not a machine. You're human and humans need rest. Make sure you guys get your rest. Make sure you guys are eating, you know, make sure you guys are eating healthy and having those fruits and vegetables as well. Okay. And having a self talk, checking in with yourself about how you're healing and how you're feeling and what's going on. So Make sure that you're good, okay? And be careful of addictive habits. Like maybe if you feel like you drink too much coffee 
or if you're not exercising enough, or if you're not um, doing something positive for yourself enough, don't leave yourself out is what I'm getting, okay? You know, make some time to get your hair done, your nails done, and sleep more when you can rest, okay? Rest so that you guys can be at your best when you're ready to get something done, like a project or a task. Also, somebody around you may need to um, go get their help checked, okay? Especially if um, they've dealt with an illness or they've had mental problems in the past. You know, it's nothing wrong with checking in with therapists and doctors and life coaches. This is why we're all here, to help each other. And some of you guys are joining that field, so that's just amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So check on health, okay? Don't let your health turn poor, okay? Take care of you. You don't want to burn out and you don't want to be sick, okay? So, you know, focus on your vitamins and making sure that you guys are doing breathing exercises to stay tranquil and at peace and do what makes you feel good, okay? Some of you guys may need to do a cleanse or... um. Just take a bike ride, just go outside, dance, jump rope, play with the kids, exercise, you know, movement. But just make sure that you also like have a good balance of like getting some good sleep, taking a nap, taking a rest, or just like relaxing your body, just chill time. Okay. Or just peaceful, quiet time. All right. So take care of yourself. You are worth it. Okay. Libra, this has been your reading for the month of December, your 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all happiness, empowerment, wealth, success, harmony, and of course, abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Libra.